What? You thought just because I lost eight of my videos means I will not cause more chaos on the internet by creating the insane quality content that no one else can create? Of course not. I already have a huge history of rising from the dead again and again and again because I just got the riz. But still, I was feeling a little down at the moment. And what happens when I start to feel sad? You got that right. I go to see Layla. And the moment I see her beautiful face, her shining radiant eyes, her lovely outfit, and hear her voice, and watch her committing atrocities. Wait, that was not in the script. Anyways, I feel a sense of comfort, and all my worries fade away. But today, this is not a video on how beautiful she is, because I don't want the video to go five hours long if I start praising everything about her individually. This video is to show you who actually is the real Cryo Archon, and why it is Layla. Today I am going to let you guys know how she survived the Archon War 500 years ago, and how powerful she is. So let's see how 10 million HP Layla looks like. But first, subscribe to this channel, and also my backup channel, because you already know the situation of this one. So the very first question, how do we give 10 million HP to Layla? For that, I gave her two-piece tenacity of the Millilith and two-piece Verukish's Glow, with all HP main stats. Why two-piece, you asked? Because one-piece don't give you HP. What? Not funny? And I gave her the key of Kaj Nisset for even more HP. With all those stat sticks, she got 57,305 HP. So at this point, we are only 9,942,695 HP short. So what should we do to give her the remaining HP? Well, the answer is... Okay, now we got her at 10 million HP. Good work everyone, our magic worked. And just so we're clear that she is at her C6 and on the way to put terror in the hearts of Celestia. And on the way to put the Tsaritsa to shame. Firstly, let's see how strong her shield is. And you might be thinking I will just spawn 5 Ruin Guards and see if she can tank their tiny missiles or not. No brother, we're going big this time. I'm gonna spawn 5 level 103 Azdahas, and I will give them infinite HP for now, because we are just checking how tanky Layla's shield become with that much HP. And we don't want these poor creatures to die with Layla's overpowered celestial star attacks. Right? Let's have a look. So as we can see that even 5 Azdahas could not give a single scratch to Layla's shield. Zhongli needs to level up with his dragons. These lowly creatures are no match for the one and only Layla. So now if I just spawn 5 normal level 103 Azdahas, let's see how easily Layla can eliminate them from the face of the earth. Well, that was a child's play for her. Totally not something she will take pride on. She needs to fight some even powerful beings to prove herself, right? For that, I spawned foul legacy Tartaglia, Crimson Witch Signora, the Raiden Shogun, 
and the cinder of two flames Arlecchino, all at level 103. Let's go hunt them and see how long it takes. So at that point, it is quite clear that no army stands a chance against Layla at all. But with all that, we only saw her attacking with her celestial stars, which means she was not using her full power. So what if she starts fighting the army of Tsaritsa and the Abyss Order? Well, for that, she will not only need 10 million HP, but 10 million attack as well. So let the magic begin. Now as you can see that she is fully ready to annihilate everything that comes into her path. Then let the Archon War begin.
Now that all that is done, if someone asks you who the most overpowered character is in the entire game, just show them this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe my other channel as well, because even this video is a gamble. If something were to happen, I will be going to that channel instead. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server, and he will see you in the comments section. Peace!